Hey, this is Dennis. I want to get back in the Bible study. It's Tuesday. We're in the book of John, chapter 2. We're going to start with verse 12. After this, he went down to Capernaum. He's talking about Jesus. He and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. Now, when Jesus, the Bible's here talking about his brethren. You know, was that Christian brothers or his actual brothers? I actually Googled it up. And it said that Jesus had four sibling brothers. So I don't know. But they continued there many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money set, set in. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, so Jesus took the time and made him a little whip, a scourge. He drove them all out of the temple. All these people is buying and selling inside the church, inside the temple. Jesus drove them out. All. Drove them all out. And he drove out the sheep and the auction and poured out the changers' money. Just kicked over their money tables. And overthrew the tables. Just flipped them upside down. And said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Now, before I got saved and afterwards and also this last 20 years coming back, you know, doing the prodigals, after doing the prodigal son thing, I've been back with the Lord 20 years. And I have been in some churches that they're selling stuff inside the church. Now, this is just my opinion. I think they ought to set up a booth or a shed or something outside the church and sell you stuff, your books or your CDs or paintings or whatever they're doing. I don't think it should be inside the church. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. So they remembered, and it had to be out of the Old Testament, because the New Testament hadn't been written yet, or they had read in there, and it looks to me like Jesus is talking to God the Father, and Jesus is telling the Father, The zeal of your house has eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? They're like, Who in the world authorized you to be coming in here and doing this stuff? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, 46 years was this temple in building. They, they worked on this thing, this church, 46 years. And wilt thou raise it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. Jesus was talking about his body when they crucified him and they killed him. He was laid up in that tomb for three days. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture. And the word which Jesus had said, now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast days, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. So when he was there in Jerusalem for the Passover and the feast, 
saying here he did a lot of miracles, and the people that saw that, they believed. Verse 24, But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. He knew that the innate nature of man is corrupt and evil. And needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Jesus knew what was in man. And I believe I read one place in the New Testament where Jesus said, don't push, put your trust in men. They'll let you down. But put your trust in God. He'll never let you down. And I know the day before I returned back to the Lord during that prodigal son thing, I mean, I was broke down. I was broken. And looking back at periods of my life, and you may see yourself, your preacher could let you down, or a deacon, or somebody in your family, a brother or sister. And the Bible says that Jesus is closer than a brother. Um, I came to the realization that my very best friends were Father God, Jesus, and Holy Ghost. And after that was my wife. And I say, put your trust in the Lord. His man will let you down. God bless y'all. Walk with God one day at a time. Bye-bye.